If you haven't been paying close attention to Nintendo news recently, you might have missed a certain story in which a company called Game Vice is suing Nintendo over the Switch's Joy-Cons. Hello all four of you, I'm Red Kwan, and I am, for some reason, making a video about what this could mean for the Switch. If you like this video, or hate it, I would appreciate a comment so that I can make my videos better, because I know that they aren't great right now. What was I talking about? So Game Vice has a patent for controllers that attach to a tablet in the middle. This sounds pretty close to what the Switch does, until you look a bit closer. I personally wouldn't call the Switch a tablet because of its ability to be a home console, and even if it was, the Joy-Cons are used completely differently from Game Vice's products. Game Vice makes their attachable controllers for other systems, while the Joy-Cons only work on the Switch. Maybe the patent does cover that, but Game Vice's claim that the Switch is causing harm to their company doesn't make sense, because the Joy-Cons aren't directly competing with their tablet attachments in any way. Just because I don't see the reasoning doesn't mean that Nintendo can't lose, though. I mean, they just lost a case for their motion sensing technology in the Wii. So what happened then? Let me know in the comments. Bye. Ugh. Fine. Well, the Wii lawsuit I mentioned earlier took years to happen, and it's pretty likely that the results of this won't be here for a while yet. So for now, the Switch will continue to sell. It probably won't be as long a wait as the Wii lawsuit, though, seeing as the Switch is on the market currently and is continuing to cause damage and irreplaceable injury to Game Vice. <laughs> but once Nintendo lost, they would almost certainly find a way to tweak the Switch so that they could continue sales. Maybe they would have the controllers already attached so that the console would be one piece, but still allow it to be docked. It would be pretty inconvenient, but it would work, and I don't think it would discourage many people from buying the system. I mean, I haven't heard anyone say, I want the Switch because it has Joy-Cons. People wanted to take it on the go. In fact, a lot of people look at the Joy-Cons and think that they're small and uncomfortable. If they couldn't find a way around it though, which seems unlikely, they might have to make a new system entirely. But honestly, Nintendo will probably win. And if Game Vice got anything, it would probably be money. I'm Red Kwan. Please comment on improvements I can make to my videos. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.